thriller of a game. Probably one of the best D3 games of the season. First, just your reactions to uh, how close it was at the end and, and the way you guys pulled it out there. Uh, uh, well, we got up early uh, in the game and we knew that they were going to come back. I mean, so far at WBI, there's been some crazy comebacks and uh, we knew that they were going to make a run. They have two of the best players in uh, Central Mass on their team. Uh, so, I mean, they're tough to guard and they hit some big shots down the end and, and uh, we just tried to stay composed in that situation. You can't get too rattled, but uh, that was the most crazy game I've been in so far. But, yeah, um, he said it. Um, once they made that comeback, we started hitting uh, Q shots. Um, we had one of our, our best defenders on them, and uh, they, they're good players. They, they still made their shots, and um, I don't even know, I'm just excited. Yeah, uh, talk about that, uh, that big three at the end there, you know, um, really gave you guys the space to pull it out. Oh, I'll say. Um, I mean, I didn't know. I didn't even notice that he was that wide open. And right when he shot it, I felt that that had to go in. Um, we came into that game knowing we weren't going to lose, and we showed it there, I guess. Our motto has been uh, refuse to lose. We put it on the board for every game, so that's kind of our. This is our last run at it, so that's been our motto. And it's what we, it's what we always say in the timeout. So we just thought there was no way we could lose this game. So. Yep. Um, if you guys could just talk about early on, the way you guys really came out strong, was that an emphasis for you guys? I know obviously it helped you were hitting your threes early, but uh, it really seemed like you guys came out motivated in this one. Yeah, we had, uh, I mean, we had everything going. We, we were able to get to, uh, get to the rim relatively well, and then and I think they might have started to sag a little bit and go under the screen, so then some kids hit some knocked down some key shots. And, uh, and I mean, it's always big to be, uh, you don't want to dig yourself a hole. We've done that a couple times a season, and you don't want to start the game down quick eight or ten, so it's always important to come out strong. Yeah, coming out strong definitely helped us win that game because uh, they definitely came out strong in the second half and cut our lead down to probably about two. And um, if we didn't come out in the first quarter shooting the heck out of the ball, getting the uh, ball to the rim, then it could have been a different outcome. Yeah, and then what does it mean to you guys as seniors, you know, having this chance now to, uh, to bring the title back to Hopedale? Uh, I saw out there lots of fans following you guys, big support. Um, what would it mean to you and, and uh, you know, just to have this chance now to be in the finals? I mean, we're a relatively small school, but we got a, the best fan base, I think, for, for Division Three. But uh, we got kids tailgating before the games. Uh, they travel well and they're, they're pretty crazy. and. Uh, it's been like 10 years since we've even been at WPI. It's, I, don't, I think the last time we won was 2004. So, uh, I mean, our community needs it. So, um, it's a big one. We get a lot of support from it. Like everyone, like we go out to breakfast, and that's all people are talking about. So, it's definitely important to us. So, in a small town, that's, it's, it's very important. And um, I, I mean, I can pretty much speak for all the seniors. We want to go over the bang. We want to go out winning rather than losing. Um, I mean, it would just be incredible to come up with a district title. Yeah.